Today we are going to review a couple of moisture mirrors from Eric Hill. So we have these two models. The first model is the Wood Moisture Mirror EWM01. The second unit is the Environment Mirror EWM02. Both of them are capable mirrors with some different options and features. When you open the box, the first you get is the instructions guide that comes in six different languages. At the end of this guide, you can find the calibration tables of wood, so you use the right setup on the device. Also comes with this sticker showing a material comparison table that you can mount somewhere in your shop and find the material mode you are going to be using. There are two wood options and five construction material options but here in woodworking we only need the first two. Let's start looking at the first tester model, the EWM01. It feels pretty handy and it comes with two AAA batteries that I have already installed. On the other end you will find the two pins that you need to penetrate the wood slightly in order to get your reading. It turns on with this red button here with just a quick press. On the left side you can find the material mode that shows in a simple number. You are able to change this mode by pressing the material button and set one of the seven options you have. This allow means a low moisture content so if I just push the mirror onto my finger I can get a high moisture reading and see how the screen goes from green to orange and red showing a high percent of moisture content. Let's turn it off and take a look of the EWM02 unit and see some of its features. Once again, the first you get inside the box is the instructions guide where you will find the calibration tables of wood, so keep this around your workspace. This tester is a little bit bigger than the previous one and has a nice bigger screen as well. It's powered by three AAA batteries that are included in the box. What I really like about this unit is the big display that shows big numbers so it is easy to read. It also measures ambient temperature and ambient humidity. To change from Celsius degrees to Fahrenheit degrees you just push this set button here and press again to come back to Celsius. Down in the right corner we have this material button to set the one we need to test it out. There are two options for wood and five options for building materials. Another feature we have in this device is to hold the reading using the H button. For example, we insert the pins in our material and push the hold button so now we have these numbers and use them as a reference for something else. There is also a maximum and minimum option to use them in multiple readings. When pushing the button again you get the minimum and keep pushing to turn it off. Here we can see the difference between the two models. I like the M01 because it's pretty much handy but the M02 have a plus because it has a bigger screen and more functional options. When you are testing your wood moisture, you need to go across the grain to get an accurate reading. This thick wood board, for example, has 11% of moisture content. If we use the M01, we should have a similar result. And that's it. I have some other pieces of wood that I want to test and show you guys the numbers I get. This pine board has 13% of moisture content.
This mahogany piece is 11%. The next is a pinpoy board that shows an orange number because it's over 15% of moisture. The last piece is also a mahogany board with different drying time than the previous one, but we get a similar result, 11% of moisture content. Finally I went to a tree to taste the moisture and see some red numbers. Both of the tasters show in red a high percent of moisture from the tree. That's all for today, thanks for watching and see you in the next video.